Hello and welcome to another installment on the 1967 Porsche wiring harness. So in this one, what I'm going to be doing here is tearing into the harness. Uh, do, do want to say something really quick here. If you see on those little connectors there, see those uh, little silver things that are underneath them? Those are the tab holders that I was talking about in the last video. Just got to be careful to not pull those things off and break them. So there's, there's three of them and there's four tanks per connector. So you just got to be careful because if you break those things off, you'll never be able to get those things secure. So basically what I'm doing here um, is just removing the sheathing from the uh, second wiring harness and uh, trying to capture all of the sheathing in the original state that it was in. So what I'm looking for here is the junctions. As you can see, I come to my first junction right here. Um, they're glued right there. So you can see I, I'm fighting with it a little bit trying to this is the first junction I've, I've started on and not really wanting to damage it so I think uh, you know how am I gonna get this thing apart without just chopping it to pieces because some of the wires are stuck and um, it's right there it's it's just glued so I think well I'm gonna heat it up so I get a candle and that doesn't really do anything except deform the sheathing uh, so I I pull away from that idea and uh, realize that the sheathing is uh, like I said, just glued on in a couple of places. So it's all you have to do is tug on the wires and it'll come off. So the candle ends up being uh, pushed out of the way. There it goes. And if you notice, I'm zip tying these as I pull them off. And there is a, a rhyme to the madness here. Like I said, I'm trying to capture the original sheathing so that I have a model to go back with. But I'm also in, uh, being careful here to identify a sub trunk of the main trunk of the harness. So the way I did that was I used yellow zip ties to identify a sub harness. There goes on a on a yellow, and then so that right there, and then I go back with a green to signify that it went to a bigger junction. So when I get ready to uh, put this thing back, and I actually did that on both harnesses. So um, you're just seeing the one here with the sheathing, and um, that way, if I have any issues going back together, I can figure this thing out so it can be. Uh, be in pristine condition I hope so that's what you're seeing here so just cutting the sheathing all the way up and you'll see it come off here as a complete unit here and there it goes take it uh, take it back and put it away and then we're back to it god it looks like a mess I tell you what it is kind of uh, amazing that a 1967 car has got this much wire in it um, I ended up doing some statistics on it. I put all this information into a spreadsheet. You'll see where I laid it out on the floor and captured all the individual runs of the different colors of wires. So I entered that into a spreadsheet and, um, you know, you can sort it on the different colors, the different, uh, component that it goes to a lot of different ways you can look at the data, but, um, yeah, so it's, it's pretty crazy. It's like 6,100 inches of wire which comes out to like 508 feet of wire in this little car that had just your basics. Uh, and that doesn't include the fog light. I forgot. It does not include the fog light. It does not include the uh, license, license plate lights that go to the hatch, the rear engine hatch. Uh, and it does not go to the lights that go on the interior. So those are kind of little sub harnesses, but, um, you know, I just, uh, it's amazing. So, but back to the video, uh, what you're seeing here, this is the front harness of the car. So, um, once again, just trying to preserve all the sheathing. There's that, uh, relay that broke off when I was pulling it out of the car, which is fine. It looks like an aftermarket relay and I've got another one, uh, that's in much better shape and wrapping the harnesses there or, uh, zip tying them so that, uh, know where it goes big and an offshoot is. And, uh, so just uh, getting it all, getting it all taken apart here, and uh, trying to be careful and videotape it, and you know watch what uh, is going where, and it's a lot of it's a lot of work. The one thing I will say is that these guys on the internet that that sell these things and um, you know make these professionally, man, the every penny it's worth every penny. Uh, I know that they're expensive, but uh, it I, you know. It's, a, it's an experience. Me being the geek that I am and a bit of a tightwad, I wanted to experience building this thing myself. And who knows, I might have boogered it up so bad that I end up having to buy a harness from one of those guys. But 
Um, it's been interesting. It's it, it gives you a new level of understanding of the car. It's it's just crazy. Uh, there's the gas uh, sending unit, by the way, which uh, that's a whole other thing to, to take apart and redo. I don't know how much I will. But almost done and, and getting into the fine details. Um, and so this is where I had it laid out on the floor. So this is how I measured each wire. So I would get on the ground and measure each one of those bad boys. I forget how many total wires were in the thing. Um, it was, I think, in the 70s. And so I measured each one of them and got up and cut it and then <clears throat> would mark it. I would mark it with a little wire wrap that I found at one of the local wire stores. The first wire is designating what it came from. So I went to the wiring harness and just captured the number of the component and then used the corresponding tape to match it. So one end is, so there's the wiring harness. There's the five gauge harness, which I have on my wall and it's blown up. I think that's three by two. And then I've got my little one, which is the three gauge. Uh, it's just good to have both of them um, just to go off of. And then uh, I've got some pictures here of the wires. They were not a perfect match, but they're kind of more vibrant. I initially wasn't happy because they weren't perfect, but they are more vibrant. So like there's the black with violet and the one on the bottom is the original. And then there's the gray one on the left is the new one, right is original. Uh, this one is the black with green. So very vibrant, new on top, bottom is old. So, and there's the black with yellow, new on the left. And then there is the green with the black. That's uh, it's a pretty bright green, but you can tell it's green. And then this one is the green with the red, so pretty close. And then here is a picture of the wire out. There's there's quite a bit more rolls. This picture doesn't do it justice. There's another stack of them, but there's quite a few stacks. And um, so thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next one, which is actually putting it together. And please subscribe if you'd like to see the next video, and hit that like button. So like I said, thanks for watching.